quickly before the video starts, remember to join the Discord, first link in the description. Also, I might be streaming in a few days, so remember to subscribe and turn post notifications on, and I hope you enjoy. Hi guys, today we're going to be doing another video, and this is a part 2 to the pool rooms, and I'm going to be showing you how to make better water, and more pool rooms environment. So this pretty much means things like curved walls, and maybe like tunnels and stuff. So first, if we delete this by, by clicking A and delete, and then I'm going to make a curved wall first, so it's rounded off at the edge. And for that, or well, what I'm going to do for it is add a cylinder, and then I'm going to go in edit mode. Uh, I think I'm actually going to delete the top and bottom. And then if I line it up, I'm just going to delete the whole half. And you can see where it goes through, like that. And then if you go back into the edges mode and extrude it, you can see it does that. And that is pretty much the easiest way. And now if you want a curved edge, you just go into edge split, subdivision, simple, right click and shade smooth. And now it's going to be flat. So I'm just going to get this and extrude the edges out a bit more. Or drag it out a bit more. I'm going to add one there and then one just here. Like that, so it's the entrance. Now I'm going to show you how to make the tunnel. So if we just add the whole room. I'm just, the whole room is going to be... Let's say this big. So it starts off here. And I'm actually going to add the tile texture in now because we're going to be messing with it. And then when you put it on later, it would mess with it more. So what I'm going to do is download them from my Google Drive. That will be the second link in the description. And just add all of these to it. I also have a more complex video on this. If you want to watch that, it will be at the top right of the screen right now. And I'm just going to plug all of these in. Now if I go into edit mode, click A, U, and reset. Now they're all to like that scale. And it doesn't really matter about the bottom ones because you're not going to see them as much. Also, when you're in here, when you're in the edit mode, go on options and correct face attributes. And that means, for example, if I get this edge and drag it out, you can see it goes along with it. And now I'm going to add it to the walls. Add a texture, walls, inside. I'll just put curve. Then if we join these and convert to mesh. Then we're going to copy this. So all of these onto these. And then just connect them all back. And if you unwrap, then that means it will go all the way around. And now I just want to scale it to the right size. There we go. I've got it that way now. And then I just need to stretch it out. And then it will look like that. And I'm not too picky about the floor, but if you want to, like, kind of make it separate, you can actually just then separate by selection and click back on them and get rid of the texture, like that. And then you can then <laughs> add them back. So I'll do top and bottom. Add them back. And there is probably a way easier way of doing this, but... For some reason, I have to make stuff hard. Anyways, I'm just going to put it down small like that. And now, I'm going to add the, like, archway in. And an easy way to do that is Boolean. So, if we make an archway, again, we can actually just use these. And if I just select all of this, if I control D, if I actually just scale it down and rotate like that, then if I rotate it, you could just add it, like, for example, down here. Now I've got that down there. If I click on it. Now I am actually going to quickly separate this. Make sure I've brung everything. And now that means it won't cut a hole in this. Or it depends what kind of thing you're using. I'm going to make an arch. You could also just do this with a cube. But make it to the height that you want. And then... Click on the wall or whatever you want to get rid of. And go to modifiers, boolean. Click on that object. And then apply. Now when you go back here, you can just delete the faces. Also, like I said, when you've got the f uh, correct face attribute, 
that makes it so if you click on the floor you can actually just drag it out like that let's say i'm gonna leave it here so i'm just gonna get all of these if i just delete it now you can see it will move freely so i'm again just gonna quickly separate and then get rid of the texture if i add it back and add all of these these and then if you click U and unwrap you can see that it goes like that again and yeah i am going to scale it up a bit because that is a lot smaller than the other side like that and then i'm going to just scale that and all you're doing is pretty much just putting the textures together but you can see now that i've got this that's all you need really i'm gonna get a sun lamp and you can just make the holes like I've done in the last one. Again, using Boolean. And if it does do that weird like black texture, you can just go over the wall bit and just delete these. Because I don't know what happens, but like, as you can see when I go in rendered mode, it's all black like that. So if you just go over it like this and just delete it. And now lastly, for the water, if you add a plane in, Scale it up to the right size. And then put it down to the height that you want. I'm going to do it quite low. I'm going to do mine like there. Like that. Now if you make it called water. Add musgrave texture. And add in a bump. And obviously then control T. Height to height and normal into normal. And I'm just going to turn the transmission up and the roughness all the way down and maybe the metallic a bit up. Like there. But that does not look real. So I'm going to add a bit of blue like that. And I'm going to scale it down. And obviously you can mess with this detail. So I'm going to do like that. The scale is quite good. It's good because if you put it close to the ground, you can actually see the tiles for it so let's say i'm gonna do it that deep and then i'm gonna copy all of this down so it looks lower actually i don't know why i've done that i can just put the floor up and i'm just gonna copy that there like that and just mess around with all of this stuff and then there you go that is part two it's actually pretty easy to do i just made it a lot harder because you've got these like curved walls and then you have to like retexture it and stuff like this under here but i mean it pays off it looks really good and you can even see the bottom of the water and you can make it lighter maybe you might even want to add like no color to it or just a tiny hint of blue but as you can see here in the final image you can see the bottom and there's a lot more to the pool rooms there's so much more but this is really the simple stuff and from this video and last video if you all put together you can make a pretty cool pool rooms video. So if you enjoyed remember to subscribe and like and I will see you in a bit.